Procurement leaders are often cost leaders with very clear competitive edge. In industries such as automotive, textile, electronics, procurement represents as much as 80% of the overall cost for the company. So it is very critical to the profitability of, of the players in, um, in, many, in many, many sectors. We interviewed a number of global multinationals and also Asian companies. Particularly in Asia, we actually find that there are really no people that we have spoke with would actually claim that they were best in class. And many of them actually said that they barely meet the minimum or the first level of procurement maturity for being a, a good tactical buyer. So with the increasing level of supply chain complexity and with cost inflation, and also with the, uh, the high uh, volatility of input costs such as raw materials and other materials, a lot of the companies who are still in the early stage of their procurement maturities really needs to now drastically improve their procurement performance. And to really get there, they will really have to go beyond just focusing on optimizing their supply base. And they have to also go beyond just trying to integrate the value chain with their suppliers. The next step or the next stage of procurement maturities would require them to perfectly align their procurement strategy to their overall business strategy and to really focusing on both the bottom line as well as making an impact on the top line. To enable this kind of achievement, it will require a lot of effort to have the right organization, processes, tools, the p &L effectiveness, and most importantly, to have an effective change management program in place to make sure that people behavior can be changed so that the results can last. From our observations, we actually see that for the companies who are able to do this well, they were able to achieve an 8 to 12% cost improvement in the initial stage. And the best players could even achieve another 3 to 4% improvement on an annual basis.